In death as in life, Marilyn Monroe had retained her superstar status. The aging sex symbol was now an ageless deity. Her platinum hair had become a halo, her sensual face an icon. For Norma Jean Baker, the orphaned girl with dreams of stardom, life was a tortured path of broken promises and bitter realities. But for Marilyn Monroe, the incandescent star whose image blazed across the silver screen, dreams became reality. Hers is the kind of immortality reserved for very few, and it's her tragic vulnerability, her childlike innocence, that will stand the test of time. She's a mythic figure in the culture, a kind of kaleidoscope in which we see ourselves. So I think actually we can learn a lot about ourselves by understanding our feelings toward Marilyn. She had a little glowing essence there, and in spite of everything that had been done, or everything she had done, and everything that had been done to her, it still glowed. I think Marilyn projected all the desirability that a man would want in a woman. But there was a soul there. I can see her soul and her vulnerability, as well as her deep desire to be wanted and loved, and her wit and her humor and her intelligence. I miss her. I really do. And, and people are losers because she, she left us. Once upon a time, there was a fairy princess called Marilyn Monroe. Norma Jean was the real person. I just hope people realize that she was a real person. I knew I belonged to the public and to the world, she once admitted. Not because I was talented or even beautiful, but because I had never belonged to anything or anyone else. <laughs>